something, you, you will, you might have around the same amount. No, go to barracks. You gotta go to your gang and stream. When you got the load, like the, 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 the top, go to, you gotta win. Yeah. Yeah, see, I got one win. That was your first win? Damn. Well, but he's nice, though. He's nice, though. Yeah. All in all, we have a pretty pleasant December day in the volunteer state. The chilly rain from last night is. He ain't been playing that much, but, but you know how to kill people, so that's all that matters. Once you understand the game, really, so you still playing Motown player. You can't, it's not even Motown player. War Zone, you got to strategize a little bit different. I got 24 kills. How many you got? I got 30-something. This shit is showing your friends, man. You still see it. When you go to the Wichita, how many wins you got? It's Tango. All the people that yeah. Go all the way up. Keep going up. You see my name. Yeah, it's Tango. Let me see. The best way for you to fix it is to take it off. Well, I'm coming to get you, baby girl, but I had to clean up right quick. Well, I don't see, I don't see your name. Okay. Uh, you should automatically see my name because when I go, that's a person. I'm gonna go back and see your name. Why? Ooh, this all tangled up, girl. Get it out the tangle. Hit your lip. What? I'm definitely on, so I can't be showing her anymore. Show your offline friends, too. Oh, this is all tangled up. No. Look in the mirror, untangle it. It's all tangled up. You see it? It broke. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Pass me a charger right there. It's a charger cord right here behind the wall. Dad, and that cart is sweating. Don't take the charger out the wall, just the cord. Oh. It's plugged in? What time y'all want to make them? Like seven o'clock? No, we'll do it at seven o'clock. We'll do the uh, brownies at 7 o'clock.
Just off the east bank of the Cumberland. Tennessee State Capitol building. There's a look at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. The scene a few moments ago. Here it is. It's on as both teams made their way out of the tunnel, these folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do Hey, Willie. You do a June bug challenge yet? That seemed like your type of challenge, man. <laughs> That's your type of challenge. <laughs> I see you written all over that shit. Every time I see it, I'd be like, boy, that's Willie. I, I can see Willie doing this shit. What Bruce say? Bruce ain't John? I think he playing with um with with, with um Wilbur. So I just now a first carry for Derek Henry. And he'll go down at the twenty six, following a gain of six. He was brought down. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles and their loss had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. <laughs> First coach, I got some goons, man. He was like, he was like, he's a.
record wins. I got thirty four. Tonight, you got 32. Burger, you got 24. Hey, that, that. Bruce, how many Bruce got? Bruce got like what? Five, nine, six? I, he never got a lot. Ryan used to be on this shit too, though. It was always me, you, and LeRon, because Bruce never wanted to play. <laughs> these boys, these boys be making Call of Duty rich, don't they? I saw my little brother care about him, care about nothing but skins, boy. Said, there's people over here. That boy said, There's people over here 300 meters away. <laughs> <laughs> that, boy scoping, that boy be scoping the scene, bro. Man, you supposed to be a groom. 
They need to they need to get that shit up out the game, bro. That Nigga send you to that goulash before you put your feet on the ground. Start that smacking shit, bro. Please, bro. Nah, that, that boy could be eating anything, bro. It's gonna sound like that. Self revive. <laughs>
That boy, that boy kind of sound like LeBron. You told me already. Right now. On now is the tight 
right there. Look. As he'll punt it away for the second Knock him. Time. Not dead, bro. Right there, right there, right there, right there. I'm not going. He's going to drive his boy. They got no more armor or something. Like I got no more armor. Say on top? Yeah. Charge five, don't it? Oh, one right, well, hang on, one right here, one right here. Get the fuck out of here. Can I leave my phone here, actually? Oh, Y'all yeah, boys, go ahead. I'm about to back out. I'm about to back out of my last one. I'm sorry, I'm about to back out. I'll be back out of Second and 12. Second and 12. Second and 12. Operating from the 39. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to 
to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. But we saw that he had a lot of success last week throwing the football, but that hasn't translated to this week. But with his team behind, I don't expect him to back off. I expect him to keep firing. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script. From fourth down to first. This is Henry. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. They'll run it again with Henry. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans! Derrick Henry, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Titans have made this a one-score game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Burrow on play action. And he'll find Moreau here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. First down, Cincinnati. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And the Bengals first down. Back to Mixon on first down. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Nashville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Here's a run with Mixon, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. 
Joe Mixon with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. And he'll bang that one through. Makes the score. Bengals 24. Titans 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Their own 23-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. 39-yard line. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's got it complete, Derrick Henry. The pass. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll bring up a second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 45-yard line. Uncorks one for Davis. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off down near the five, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. That's their first time getting to the quarterback sack number one in, you know, last week, I'll remember. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback, but to show them a lot of different looks, and they did that in the first half, you know, different angles, different things to slow down the speed. He's got a man complete! And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Now Joe Mixon. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Going deep down field for Ross. And a short return to the six-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because well, here we are in December, giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he throws. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Again, it's Henry. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. On the tackle. A gain of a yard. On play action, they'll throw. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Back to throw now on first down. Buying time to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. He's taken down. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. 
Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. He finds an opening past the 40. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. They'll drop to throw. They will find Davis. That's complete. The Titans are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. He had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Incomplete. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second and 11. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Seven. Woods and he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down and this is caught now for a late touchdown so hold everything here this one's not over yet I did coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Smith catches left side. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them? To do that? Yeah, maybe they, they saw something on film. Do you see something on film when those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. On first down, Nixon. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. A gain of seven. And the Bengal first down. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. You see it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So this one in the win column 